right, so me and Kim are going to kind of do a bit of a different video. Sorry if the audio is terrible, but it's Cedar Point and it's loud. Um, so we're here for Halloween weekends. We're going to be doing the, the houses. We got our fast passes because, um, oh my God, like everything's like over an hour long wait. Um, so we plan on doing all of them, maybe doing some treats, maybe filming some of the scare zones, but we're just going to give like quick thoughts after we're done. So we just got done with Hexed. Um, it's like a black light, black magic themed yeah. one. I thought the, I thought it, uh, they've had this like every year since I've been coming. Um, the, the sets look really nice. Yeah, I really like the sets here. I think they're really cool. I, I like the the way they they give you a lot of space, which is weird, but it's actually like I, I don't know. It's yeah. like really filling too. I didn't get any scares in that one. Um, I got a couple. Did you? Well, that's yeah. okay. Um, there were some like interesting hiding spots and stuff like that. I like the one. There's like a mirror room where like if you if they'll have people like look into a mirror and the mirror drops, there's an actor behind. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah. Overall, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, it's like four minutes long. That's about how long most of these ones are. But it's like a black light one. If you've been here, it's cool. They have like at the beginning, there's like a bunch of big dresses. Yeah, that was really neat. I thought for sure like one of them was going to be on stilts or something, but I think she was just on like a platform or something. Yeah, like yeah. Um, overall, I like this one. Um, we're just both going to give it a rating. What would you give it out of 10, just overall? Out of a 10, I'm going to say like, a, like an 8.5. See, I, I didn't like it that much. I'd give it a 7 personally. Um, I think it's, you know, decent. If you're not doing the fast pass, I don't know if I'd wait in line for this one, especially not when it's literally leaving the queue. <laughs> um, it is not worth waiting an hour for. But if you have the fast pass, you're gonna do them all. So you get to do yeah. each once. So, yep, um, on to the next. It's what time is it? 7.42, so I don't know. We'll probably head back to whatever haunt we find next. Maybe a snack, I don't know. Now that me and Kim have libations, she has a blood bag. I got the cool little glowy cube drink. Um, we just got done with, shit, what was it called? The Haunting of Erie Estate. It was good. I liked it better than the first one because I actually got scares. They say it's new this year, but literally all they've done to this one is they add like a paranormal investigator that has a little pre-show. Yeah. And then it's the same haunt as always. It's like your typical haunted house thing. Actress had some good hiding spots. Any particular takeaways, Kim? I actually liked it before, but I think it was just because there was probably more actors in it last time. There's definitely a lack of actors in this one. Yeah. Um, overall, I thought it was fun. Um, yeah, if you've been, if it's the same as it's always been. Haunted house theme. It's pretty cool. It, it is actually pretty well decorated for a theme park haunt, I think. Yeah. Um, I'd give it a 7.5. I, I think I'm in agreement with you, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a little bit better than the last one. She thinks she liked it a little bit less than the first one. Now we're going to go try and watch the Midnight Syndicate show. What's it called this year? Do you remember? Um, I do not recall. Well, we'll let you know that after we Midnight see it. Something. And we'll let you know what we think about it. What did Kim think of the Midnight Syndicate show? I liked it. I mean, I always like Midnight Syndicate anyway, but... Yeah, Kim's like that freak that like listens to it in the car as if though it's... Um... What? It's enjoyable. Especially at night, it's spooky. They incorporate scare actors into the show, so if you like hearing bunches of children scream, I do recommend it. It's okay. Um, I did like uh, Mr. Midnight. That was cool. Yeah, Looked, that was like, really the claws cool. and stuff. And his, uh, his version of Renfield, Mallory. Very Freddy Cougarish, um, but yeah, I thought it was good for eating beer cheese um, magoop right now. It's pretty decent. Um, yep, and then on to more haunted houses. I don't know what the next one is we get to, but um, I, you'll find out when we do. <laughs> <laughs>
right, so we just did three different ones and it was so crowded. There's footage we'll see, they're so crowded that like, we couldn't stop the film, so we did. The first thing we did was, what was it? Blood in the Bayou? Blood in the Bayou. Which is technically a scare zone. It takes like 15 minutes, that's like 10 minutes, to walk back to it. <laughs> it's five minutes long, it's just a giant conga line. I really liked it better when they had it over by uh, Dragster. Drag, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot better then. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend walking all the way back there for it. I guess if you've never done it, you probably should. Um, that one there's no fast pass for because it's just a giant line, you never stop. <clears throat> then we did butcher shop there was like two actors now there's more than that but a lot of them just stood in the corners yeah um the only one that i have to give a little shout out to was the one that was uh she was holding hands with a swinging body and she asked everybody if you want to be her friend so that that yeah, was that, that was, was kind of funny i think one gave me a little bit of a startle but yeah most of them just kind of stood in the corner and didn't do anything which yeah, i find I got weird. a couple scares that was it um yeah a lot of hanging pigs exactly what you expect from a butcher shop scene something yeah. all over me um and then we just did corn stalkers which was fun for the most part i mean yeah. it's literally just walking through corn stalks yeah there were people dressed as corn stalks yeah they got me a couple times yeah i actually got quite a few scares inside there because i didn't expect them to pop out where they did there was a lot of dead space um yeah. but still was pretty cool um blood in the bayou i didn't like it very much i'll give it like a four uh, I have to agree with you. I would probably, I, I was thinking like a 4.5, but yeah. Four I mean, some of the sets were cool. Like there's yeah. like a campground, there's like a massacre happened and stuff. Like yeah. lots of fog, all the fog. All the fog. You think Universal uses a lot of fog. Come to Cedar Point. <laughs> like this whole, I mean, you can see there's just fog everywhere. The whole place is just fog. Yeah. Um, what do you give? What do you give Butcher Shop? Um, Butcher Shop, I give maybe like a, a 5.5. Yeah, I'd probably say 5.5 or 6. I like the theming. It yeah. did look cool for a slaughterhouse or a butcher shop, whatever it's called. Maybe it's a slaughterhouse. It's slaughterhouse. Ew. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not enough actors at all. Corn stalkers, I would give... I mean, it's not themed well. It's literally... The, it's corn. It's literally just corn. It's corn! <laughs> um, I'd probably give it like a 6.5, 7, yeah. somewhere. Just because it got me a couple times. Yeah, I was going to say like a 6. Yeah. So now we have three things left to do. Two haunts. We have Freak Show. And then the new blood ones, like vampire themed. Yeah. That's the actual new one for this year. And then we got the scare zone. Oh God, what's it called? Um, it's the. It's the one that's always in the back. That's pirates themed. It's pirates. Cutthroat Cove. Cutthroat, Cutthroat Cove. Cove. Yeah, that's right. So we got that one to do, and then there's a couple more scare zones like that, like that you don't just like walk through, because like Cutthroat Cove and Bottom of the Bayou are basically outdoor haunts. Yeah. But then there's two regular scare zones, which I will film in. I was going to try and film Blood in the Bayou, but there's so many people that all you'd see is the back of someone. I don't want to hold my phone up in the air. So, so yeah, I think we're going to head over to probably Freak Show first. I think that's Because that'll right, be yeah. that or maybe some scare zones. But, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll go check out those. Also, fun fact, if you're looking for the fast pass lane for Corn Stalkers, it's right before you cross the bridge by Maverick. You go over there. That's where the fast pass lane is. It's not marked well, literally at all. It's, it's not back until all the way back there. Maverick is the best ride in the park. R.I.P. Steel Vengeance. Maverick is big. <laughs> Look at it. It's one of, I think Maverick's definitely in my top five. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, because I mean, I love Intimidator. That's probably my number one or my number two. I don't know. Velocicoaster Intimidator is like number one, number two. Maverick's probably like my third or something. I just love Maverick. It's just, I love how it like, it does the same thing that, um, that Intimidator does. It's not as violent where it does these ridiculous whips at you. Um, I just love that coaster, it's fun. It's the Harvest Fear Scare Zone. It's like a carnival. A lot of standing and not trying to scare. That's like a big theme this year, it seems. Slider guy seems to be pretty cool though.
If you ever wondered what an $11 slice of pizza looks like, <laughs> that's right there. Yeah, no joke, $11 for one slice. What is it, like a corn and chorizo? Yeah, spicy corn and chorizo, basically like street corn, but in pizza form. It's good. Um, I, mean, I don't, yeah, of course it's not worth $11. This restaurant, however, though, if you actually come, like, I think it's open now, but if you come in the day, it's very good. Um, they, have, they have like a rotating menu, but it's like, they have like good steak and stuff. Um, oh, it's yeah. really rich for price and the buttery potatoes, get that shit. Oh my God, so good. But um, we just did Freak Show. Freak Show, yeah. um, It's one of the shorter ones, but I probably like that one the best so far, just cause like, it's very open and there's actually felt like a good amount of actors in there. Yeah, I got quite a bit of scares. I mean, sets and props are cool as well, cause they actually have like a little campground, like where the circus freaks stay. There's like sideshow attractions. It's a kind of a good twist on like a clown type of haunt. Yeah. Because they're more carnies, not really clowns. Right, yeah. They're more carnies and freaks yeah. and stuff like that. Clown adjacent. <laughs> um, I thought it was pretty good. What would you give that one? Um, I'd probably give that one like... Like an 8.5? Yeah, I give it like yeah somewhere in eight point eight point five. That was the best. I wish it was a little bit longer. Um, they've been doing that one for years and years. I don't think they've changed it much, but it usually is one of my favorite ones. And the actresses, I feel like, have better hiding spaces in that one. Um, so yeah, the only one we have left, haunt wise, is the is it called Bloodbath? I think that's the I name of it. I think it's Bloodbath, yeah. Um, which is the one by Steel Vengeance, and then we still have Cutthroat Cove to go through. And then we do want to check out. I guess there's like a Halloween specific store that's taken the place of the. Um, yeah, uh, Top Thrill Dragster store. Oh, so okay. we want to check that out on the way out because we haven't been to that side. I do wish that Cedar Point had more like scare zones kind of spread out. Yeah. Because like all in Frontier Town now. All the scare zones are in Frontier Town. So, because before at least put in the bayou was the entrance. Like you had to enter it, but it was again by Top Thrill Dragster. Now it's also in Frontier Town. <laughs> and Frontier Town is just the biggest cluster. It, it's I mean, you'll, you would have you've seen it in the videos, but I mean, it's just a sea of people. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna finish our twelve dollar or eleven dollar pizza and then go do another haunt. Bloodbath is behind good old Stevie. Uh, I love that coaster, and God, the, the, the last section always makes me want to die. I wonder, does anybody else experience that? Do you love this coaster, but those last like four or five bunny hills at the end just kill you? They kill me. I think they're altering the ride. I don't believe they're tearing it down. They're gonna alter it in some way. Because their post says dragster is going to be like different as you know it. it doesn't say like it's gone. So I think it'll be something else. Yeah, so this is like their Halloween store. Mr. Midnight's Oh, it's themed out that like the okay, the guy from the show. That's kind of cool. Oh look, it's like a little graveyard. That's fun. Oh yeah, they even have, they have Mr. Midnight like on the shirt. That's cool. Are they like almost trying to do like an icon or something? Oh, that's cool, it's like a little fairy fountain. But yeah, look, they have like a thing on that. Oh, they actually have like shirts for the houses. I've never seen them do that before. Yeah, I really like this one with the pumpkin on it. Oh, that's cute. It's like a werewolf. Just like some, some 
beaches in the whole bay. That one's cool as well, the one that says Cedar Point Halloween Gals. Oh yeah, that has all the different um, houses and zones. Yeah, someone that works at Cedar Point really has been to the Orlando parks. <laughs> We haven't recapped the bloodbath house, but spoiler alert, I think we're gonna do it when we get back to the car. Spoiler alert, it's a copy from another house we went to recently. <laughs> Look at the cute little socks. I don't know what's like exclusive. Obviously, most of the shirts that are seen at Point Theater are gonna yeah, be exclusive. Well, these are but you can get these. You can get those like, at their website. Yeah. Okay. Look, they have a bunch of Ouija like themed stuff. That's cool. They even have, you can even buy a Ouija board. It's just normal, but I guess it's cool to be like about the Cedar Point. <laughs> it's gonna guess where you bought it. Oh, look at this! It's like a, it's like a cool little photo op thing, and it even and it also has uh, Mr. Midnight on it. Neat little Ouija shot glasses. Oh, it actually says. Oh wait, no, it does say Cedar Point on it. That'd be cool if the actual board. Yeah. Said it, but it's just normal. And they send you stuff over here. It looks like. Here's the haunting of the Erie State. Do they have like something about the ghost and foresters? Oh, they absolutely do. Yeah. It's um, the emblem for that fake Sandusky Paranormal Society that's in the show. And um, yeah, actually part of the house. I kind of like how they tied like different parts in the show. That was cool. Yeah. It's definitely no tribute store, but it's cute. It's more than they've ever done before, I think, as far as a theme store goes. Um, yeah, I hope they do as well. Yeah, I think it's cool. What are these little things over here? There's a million people over here before. Oh, little small, small, little Frankenstein's. These are really cute. Furry bones. Where's that zip up hoodies? Because I don't like pull over hoodies. Yeah. There's not many zip ups. Because there's a couple designs that I really like. I don't know if I'll get a shirt or not, but I have so many shirts. <laughs> they do have some like decorations up towards the ceiling and stuff. But yeah, that's the, that's the store. This makes me sad. They still have the sign up. Well, the wood piece from where you used to enter blood in the bayou and it was really good. It makes me sad. Yeah, that's where you used to enter it. Now we have to walk three miles to go to one that's half as good. So yeah, we just finally got out of Cedar Hell. Um, <laughs> so well, we didn't talk about cutthroat or bloodbath. Yes. So I guess, cause the park is just so busy and it, we actually just like, it's just now midnight, the park just closed. So we're like, let's just get out of there. And we did the gift shop and that, but like we'll talk about those when we get out. Um, bloodbath was okay. Mm -hmm. um, it was, um, we mentioned in the gift shop that it's like a carbon copy of um, whatever the one at Bush Gardens called, it's vampire themed. The Forgotten. Yeah, because this was even themed like a club. I think they called it Club Morpheus. I think this one was. Club Orpheus. Orpheus, okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's like sexy vampires. At one point, there's even like a couple like making out like her. Yeah, she was like real scandally dressed. And they're mm -hmm. like sitting on a thing being all sultry. Um, so that was kind of cool. And yeah, you even just like at the one in Bush Gardens, you go to the back rooms where they had the people kept prisoner for the vampire club. It's weird just how much it really was just like the one. Yeah, like they even Bush had Gardens. like a room where they were like grinding up the body parts. Yeah, lots and... of black mannequins just like. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine it wasn't in some way inspired by or mm -hmm. kind of copied there. And then we went through Cutthroat Cove. This is probably the worst time I've ever walked through Cutthroat Cove. They're just like, there are actors, but like this has been like a big thing. And like, this is an opening weekend. Like this is their second weekend. So they've had it. We, uh, I think like what? Because there's they're open on Thursdays as well. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday. So this is like their fifth or sixth day in operation. Yeah. And like the actors, they they just so many of them. Even in the haunts, they just stand there and just look at you. Right. So many of them. It, it was really kind of disappointing because Cutthroat Cove. I always felt like I got the most scares because they always have like these really bright lights 
focused at you and then the fog rolls in and you can't see anything and the actors usually hide around those lights right. and like and i only got maybe like two people yeah um the girl in the bungee was cool because she'd come yes. out and she's like air hug that was fun <laughs> um and like i did see him here and there try and scare other people around us but um yeah for the most part though they just kind of stood there and just looked at you um, and yeah, that was just like a big theme through a lot of the haunts and scare zones is the yeah. actors just seemed like they had no idea what to do. I kind of, I, I understand and I forget what it's called. Um, but the one that's in frontier towners are going back, um, because that place is just a cluster. Um, yeah, so um, I banished, I believe. Yeah, it's I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, it's banished. I mean, I don't know how they could, I mean, they were trying here and there, but like there is just mm-hmm. a sea of people. Like it would be really hard to scare. Um, Bloodbath, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, it was okay. Um, it did seem like things were under themed, a little underdressed here and there. Yes, I felt like they kind of just threw it together very last minute, um, and they just needed to open it as soon as possible. Hopefully, if they continue the theme, they'll dress it up a little bit more. But otherwise, I thought it was very plain. Yeah. I would say I'd probably give it whatever I gave Hexed. I liked it about equal to Hexed, which I think I gave, oh God, I don't even remember now, 6.5 or 7, somewhere in there. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. Yeah. yeah probably like a 6.5. Cutthroat Cove, I know, is usually good, but like, it was pretty bad this year. Like, what would you give it just based off of this one experience this year? Um, From this experience, I'd probably give it like a 6.5. Yeah, I, th- I mean, yeah, I still like the theming. I like pirate theming. I'd probably, yeah. I'd probably even, I mean... The actors just really disappointed me. Like, they really need to get them trained up a little bit better. And, like, this year it's just sorely lacking. I'd probably give it only, like, a 5.5 or so. Because, like, Ooh. it almost pisses me off because I know how good it should be. And it's mm-hmm. just, like, they were there, but they just chose to do nothing. <laughs> and it, it's just weird. I mean, that yeah. happens once in a while. But it's like, my God. Because, I mean, that's all Slaughterhouse was for the most part. Besides, like, two or three people. Mm-hmm. They just stood there and they just looked at you. Didn't even say anything. Didn't make a growling noise. Just stood there. Yeah. Like, they were statues. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know. Definitely one of the more disappointing um, years we've been to Cedar Point. I'm hoping that they get better. It's not, I don't think the event is as a whole any worse or better than it has been, but it's just, yeah, it just seems like there's so less actors, which, you know, I mean, sometimes that happens, but in the actors that are there, I just don't think have been fully trained maybe yet. Yeah. And they also just choices like moving um, the blood in the bayou to where it is. We've said it already a couple oh. times here. I just think it was a mistake and I hope they put it back to the other place, but I don't think they ever will. Um, it's just, yeah, uh, the path before was more confined and it was easier just to get in and out. And it was just a lot more fun because you could also do it multiple times if you wanted to. Um, that was actually like my favorite when we came here. I don't remember what year, I think it was 2018, maybe 2019. Um, when we came, that was like my favorite scare zone. One of my favorite things. Cause like they got me so many times, <laughs> um, you know, and now it's just like, I don't know. It's just a lot worse. Um, yeah. It seemed like a lot of people were very disappointed with it because like when we were heading back, people were telling people that were coming into the scare zone, turn back. It's not worth the walk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear. I mean, the, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I agree. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's such a cluster and it's such a giant thick conga line mm-hmm. and it can even be a little bit confusing for the signs on how to walk back there. Cause you don't have things roped off. So like you just kind of have to stick to one side and the other people stick to another side, the people that are leaving and the people that are coming in. Um, yeah, the couple food options we had were good. Um, we did like the show. So make sure if you come, you see the Midnight Syndicate show. Um, that is funny. You get to hear children scream their little faces off. So that's always good. <laughs> also, it's a good time for night rides. Most of the rides did have a long line, though, because, I mean, it's just so ungodly busy here. But, I mean, overall, I mean, it was still fun. I mean, going to Cedar Point usually is fun. It's just definitely we had a lesser experience than we had the last few times that we've come to Halloween weekends, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, just mostly because of not enough actors and just the actors not really doing too much but (laughs) let us know if you've come um maybe your experiences has been different but i guess thank you very much for watching um let us know if you kind of like i mean i don't know how often we would do a a review like this but we're like yeah i don't know i thought it would just be better than sitting down and talking about it since there's so many haunts and it's a theme park and yeah so thanks so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and all that crap kim doesn't have a little bell to ring but ding 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 (laughs) yep Um, We'll see you in the next episode. (laughs) Bye.